today we are in this awesome location called Meteora and it's a whole lot of like rock pillars that have monasteries on the top. It is so cool. So we're gonna do a little exploring, we might visit one or two. We're only here for a day and it's it's quite big. It looks really really cool. They're all very curved and flowing. No, he said like. We have no idea. This no. is just what, what he's making up. Maybe we'll find out. Just at an observation deck overlooking all the monasteries and now we're at another one just down the road 300 meters or so cliffs all around. Water would be hard. It must have took some real determination to build there. Meteora has six monasteries here, all built on top of these rock formations. Uh, every monastery is closed one or two days a week, so if you were to come here, make sure that the ones that you want to go to are open on the days that you will be here. It is nice to just drive around here. There's lots of places to pull over, lots of cars just pulled over. Yeah, the it's the really cool. Like, yeah, you can just pull over, take photos, take videos. It's just cool seeing them like from the outside, like suspended on these big like formations. It looks like from here, it's like not suspended, the one behind us, but it's like you cannot walk to it. Like you have to like Thank climb you. down and then climb up. Definitely can't do them all in one day. So we're just kind of exploring around. There's the path from the monastery. You have to walk down that ramp and then somehow go around the corner and then climb back up to the monastery. This is just so cool, like this place is so surreal, it's like something you'd draw or you'd see in a, like a fantasy movie or it's just, it doesn't look real, it's, it's insane. So now we're just back in the van and we're making some lunch. So now we're heading into one of the monasteries. After we put our tickets, we were walking up the stairs and then the ticket seller told me I wasn't dressed modestly enough and had to borrow a skirt. So this used to be the hospital, but now it looks like it's a souvenir store just come out to this little balcony area and we can see the van. <laughs> I imagine it's something special, probably like a chapel or a church or something. Um, might see if we can get in. Um, I'm glad we came as late as we did because there's a lot less people than were here before. We could see, you know, how many people were walking up. 
but it's still really busy. So I think definitely come first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening before closing, which is kind of hard if you want to visit all of them. So I think that's why spacing it out over a couple of days is a good idea because it can take a while to get through one if there are a lot of people. So we just went into the church. We weren't allowed to come in there. There are signs saying no come, but it's beautiful in there. Murals up on every wall. A lot of graphic pictures of beheadings and stuff like that. There's also the hands and feet bones of the monks that are built in place. Like literally their hands and feet, like their bones yeah, and like, so like gold casing yeah, and gold and silver casings around their hands. We saw him up at the monastery before when we were up there and he was lying in the sun, getting very hot. And he's found some shade next to our van. So it's about an hour before sunset and we've just come to this spot to take photos of the sunset. There's a place here called Sunset Rock. I think we found the right one. We very easily could have gone to the wrong one, but I'm sure it will be beautiful either way. ended up ditching Sunset Rock because there were just so many people there so it was kind of hard to enjoy the moment plus we don't really like flying the drone when there are lots of people around we feel a bit rude so we've come back to where we were parked because you can see the sunset from here it's beautiful and it's just a bit quieter Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.